in Berlin in 1989 when the wall came down. And that was one of the first times that we actually did, in a sense, gay wire stories for LGBT press around, around the nation. Because I was there and I was phoning those stories in from Berlin, what was happening between East and West Berlin. And I've done the same thing in Cuba. In 1991, I went to Cuba and did a story on what gay life was like for uh, gay Cubans. And I actually got caught in the raid uh, while I was there, which was quite interesting. Did, we did the same thing. Um, we did a series of stories called Gloss Nose Behind the Iron Curtain, where we went from Berlin to Prague to Moscow, uh, and several other cities to see what it was like. And we also did the first series. You asked, I know it should, should have been part of the question that you asked earlier, what PGN does, it's different. We also did uh, Gay Life in the Muslim World. Um, and we went to Egypt, Jordan, uh, Libya, uh, and uh, not Libya, I'm sorry. Um, Lebanon. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Libya. Well, you know, it's always been an international movement. I mean, the, the, the movement started in Germany in the late 19th century, and uh, Gerber, who started the first, uh, Henry Gerber, you were talking earlier, who started the first uh, gay organization, what we would call a gay rights organization uh, in America, I got the idea from having been uh, an American soldier and having seen the movement in Germany. It's even possible that we wouldn't have the movement in this country if it hadn't been for Henry Gerber, because Henry Gerber met Harry Hay, who founded the Mattachine Society, and told him about the movement in Germany. Now, whether, you know, Harry Hay would have created the movement otherwise, I don't know. And I'm sure that uh, Harry Hay, learning that it was a prior movement in Germany, must have played some role in his starting that. When England was making important parts Henry, of the Henry Gerber said <laughs> that his whole concept came from Dr. Magnus Hirschfeld, right. Scientific Humanitarians Committee in Berlin. Yes, yes. And he came to New America on his, on his tour and Henry saw him here in, in America. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that part. Uh, yes, and, and uh, I know you honor that, that memory because you, uh, you have uh, founded the Magnus Hirschfeld Institute. Um, but no. then I was going to say when, when England started making progress in the 1960s with the Wolfenden Report, which is the famous report that helped decriminalize homosexuality in Germany, uh, sorry, in England, I think that gave uh, that gave a boost in it to you, Randy, back in the days, knowing about that. Enormously. Yes. And so it's always been an international movement where we've been feeding back and forth, and that needs to, to continue. Yeah. So let's give a round of applause to the authors. And thank you for the honor to be here today. Yes, thank you. Yes. Well, we're not there's uh, going to be some signing um, over here and also comments, um, so please stick around.